Welcome to the Elevate Media Podcast with your host, Chris Anderson. In this show, Chris and his guests will share their knowledge and experience on how to go from zero to successful entrepreneur. They have built their businesses from scratch and are now ready to give back to those who are just starting. Let's get ready to learn, grow, and elevate our businesses. And now your host, Chris Anderson. Welcome back to another recording of the Elevate Media Podcast. I'm Chris Anderson. Today, we're going to dive into the price of success, what it takes in the world of entrepreneurship to succeed. I'm going to get real. You're going to see the less glamorous side of entrepreneurship, um, but you're going to get transparency. You're going to get realism, and we're going to dive into it. So let's get started. I say it a lot. We often see only the highlight reels on social media, the fancy offices, luxurious vacations, fancy cars, and all those quote-unquote overnight success stories. But what about the sacrifices, setbacks, and the personal toll that often accompanies the entrepreneurial journey? Today, I want to peel back that curtain, and I want to start a candid conversation about the true cost of success. So starting this episode off, I want to discuss the sacrifices entrepreneurs have to make on that journey to success. And this is hard. This is hard for people to understand. This is hard for people to, you know, believe because everything we see and hear out there. But whether it's sacrificing time with loved ones, financial stability, or even personal well-being sometimes, the path to building a successful business is rarely easy. Things have to be sacrificed. For that ultimate goal. Personally, you know, I've had to make tough decisions along the way. I have tried to prioritize family about all of it because family matters. You don't get, you know, time with everyone forever. Um, but man, we poured a lot of money into this business. You know, I've invested back in the business, you know, so we run on tight, tight, tight profit margins to be able to invest. I've personally not even taken a share sometimes because I put what we've made into the business. You know, I've sacrificed countless hours of sleep, you know, to the point where I made myself sick because I wasn't sleeping enough. And I'm not saying that you should do that. I'm not saying that that's the extreme you should take, you know, cutting your savings down to barely anything. I'm super grateful that I have the support of family and wife who, you know, is with me on this journey and understands what it takes, um, despite the anxiety and stress and the uh, frustration sometimes. And, and so I'm grateful for that. But yeah, you know, sacrifices have been made. I, you know, I don't always go and hang out with friends. I don't really play video games or watch movies much. I don't spend that time, you know, going out and getting drinks with buddies or going hanging out a lot because, you know, I just, you have to make those sacrifices. In the end, those sacrifices have been worth it though, because they've helped me build a multi six figure agency since it began. And it's brought me closer to the goals I'm trying to achieve. But along that path, with, even with sacrificing, we, even with working hard and doing the right things, setbacks, they happen. They're part of the journey. A lot of times we don't talk about them. You know, from failed ventures to financial hardships, these things that test your resiliency aren't spoken of. So how do we handle setbacks when they rise? We've had setbacks, so many setbacks at Elevate along the way. Let's be real candid. You know, we've had moments where I didn't know if we were, if we we're going to keep running, especially when it was just me. You know, I didn't have the time to keep up with everything. I was losing sleep. I was, like I said, I was getting sick, physically sick because of the work I was putting into it. Like, and I mentioned earlier too, our profit margins have been super slim sometimes to the point of like, you know, we're going to make payroll. Are we going to be able to do this and that? Because, you know, there's ups and downs in everything. There's lean years, there's lean months, you know. And so 
with these setbacks, you lose clients unexpectedly. And, you know, what I've learned is to embrace these moments. Embrace these as learning opportunities. They're not failures. Learning opportunities. Every setback has taught me something valuable and pushed me to become better. In my mind, setbacks are just setting you up for comebacks. And that comeback that you're being set up for is going to bring you and elevate you to the next level. But you've got to go through the fire to be refined. You've got to go through the hammering to become a diamond. So my advice to anyone who's facing their own struggles right now in business is to keep pushing forward. Success is not about avoiding setbacks. It's about how you bounce back from them. And on this journey, it can take a personal toll on you. There's pressure to succeed from yourself, from others. There's that constant, quote unquote, hustle. Because you are, you feel like you're working 24-7 sometimes. And then you have the never-ending to-do list that if you're not careful can lead to burnout, anxiety, and even depression, especially when you're in the early stages trying to get it off the ground, doing it yourself, and wondering if it's going to work. So how do you prioritize self-care amidst the demand of building a business? It's not easy, but it's essential. And it comes down to this. You have to choose. You have to make it a priority. You know, it was really hard for me to make it a priority there for a while. Like I said, I was making myself sick. I literally wore myself down so much that I was just getting sick like once a month. It was bad. And so I had to realize that because I was going, that was my journey at the time. Because of that, when I would get sick, it would set me back even more because I could barely do anything. You know, it was whatever, it was vomiting, it was just super drained, whatever it is. So it actually caused bigger setbacks because I was going 24-7 and I wasn't taking care of myself. I wasn't prioritizing my health. And so those setbacks, I'm like, my goodness, like that's even worse than just taking an hour uh, each day to work out or, you know, 30 minutes to just sit in silence and, and refresh or actually getting enough sleep. It's not easy because we think if I take, you know, one day off, if I take three hours off this week, it's all going to crumble. It's all going to fail. It's not true. It's not true. Now, it's not easy, but it's essential to, to realize that, that you can prioritize time to take care of yourself because you're the captain of your ship. If you go down, the whole thing's going to sink. See, so I make time for the things that bring me joy and recharge my batteries. And that's spending time with my family. That's exercising. Cause man, I can burn off some steam while working out, which helps. But for me, really, being outside, taking a moment to just breathe and be in nature and uh, among our animals, and that helps me recharge. And then when things get really tough, man, I go to God. I lean even more into him and prayer and asking for help and guidance and direction. And, and, you know, to be truthful, you know, I I need to do it even more in the good times as well, you know, to be thankful and go to him and, and just share that and praise him for that. But when things are rough, you know, I, I'm not afraid to go to him. And if you don't know, you know, Jesus, if you don't have a relationship with him, you know, I'm here to talk about that. I, I'd love to, you know, share and, you know, guide how I can pastor, but just what he's changed in my life. But, you know, when things are really hard, you know, I go to prayer. And I also am not too egotistical to ask for help from other people. And I have mentors, I have people in my life where I can say, hey, I, I need help. How do you do this? Or what, what's, what's blocking me here? Or my parents are amazing because some days I just need them. I need the boys to be watched by them so I can be 20. Well, I can be fully into the tasks I need to get done. 
And, and so they have, they have helped tremendously in that regard in so many other ways. Uh, but being open to, to watching the boys and, um, cause maybe we had to go travel to production or I'm at an event or things like that. So uh, remember you have people on your team, you have people on your side, people willing to help. And then remember your mental and emotional well being. They're just as important as your business success. And they really are tied to it because if your emotional and mental well-being crumbles, even if your physical being crumbles, your business is not going to do well, but especially your mental and emotional state. Because you have to make decisions. You have to make tough, hard decisions. You have to go through a lot of, you know, hard things that if you can't balance and manage your stress and anxiety properly, it's going to be hard, even harder, and you probably won't succeed. So there's just some, you know, a few things to try to peel back, you know, the current a little bit. With the price of success and entrepreneurship, you know, we could dive, I could talk about this for hours and hours. And if you have any questions, if you have, if you're going through something, you know, with your journey, please reach out. You know, I'm sure I've been through it or something close to it. Send me a message at chris.t.anderson at, on Instagram. Yeah, I just want to help. I just want to help you elevate what you're doing. Uh, and so please reach out. But remember, behind every success story lies a journey filled with sacrifices, with setbacks, and with challenges. But it's how we navigate these obstacles that ultimately determine our success. Just don't give up. Don't give in. Keep moving forward. And until next time, keep elevating your life, elevating your brand, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to the Elevate Media Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. See you in the next episode.